Prozac week one. Obtain the starting materials. Measure out three milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide. Measure out five milliliters of water. Weigh out one gram of three dimethylaminoprofionone hydrochloride. Place a large stir bar and the hydrochloride into a 250 milliliter beaker. Add the water and stir until the salt is dissolved. While stirring, add the 3 milliliters of sodium hydroxide to form the free base of the amine. Measure out approximately 5 milliliters of 95% ethanol. Add the ethanol to dissolve the free base. Measure out 0.2 grams of sodium borohydride. Separate the sodium borohydride into three portions and add the portions one at a time. Stir the solution for 15 minutes. Obtain approximately 3 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid. The pH strip shows that the current solution is very basic. Add the hydrochloric acid dropwise to the solution until it no longer fizzes vigorously to destroy the excess sodium borohydride. As seen on the pH strip, after the excess sodium borohydride is destroyed, the solution is very acidic. Measure out 8 milliliters of 10% sodium hydroxide. Basify the solution by adding the sodium hydroxide to form the free base of the amine. Check that the solution is now basic. Measure out 10 milliliters of ether. Add the cooled reaction mixture to a separatory funnel and then add the ether. Shake well about three times to separate the organic layer and remember to vent in between. This is how the layer should look. Remove the aqueous layer into a beaker. Measure out an additional 10 milliliters of ether. Remove the organic layer into a separate beaker and pour the aqueous layer back into the funnel. Add the 10 milliliters of ether to the funnel and repeat the shaking and ventilation step. Remove the aqueous layer and combine the two organic layers. Add magnesium sulfate to the organic mixture. Carefully pour only the liquid into a vial. Under the fume hood, evaporate the liquid until only an oil is left in the vial. Place all materials in the appropriate areas.